What is real and what is fake? I don't know if you've ever really thought about that question before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But in this world that we live in, we are surrounded by hearing stories about fake news. So how can we tell if something is real or fake? Well that's what we're going to think about a bit this evening. Uh, we're starting off a new series going through the book of Luke. Uh, and it's a really important question to start off by asking ourselves. Let me just show you a couple of examples though of stories that have been in the news recently. Here is our first example. It's a picture of the White House. And it was supposedly taken when all the riots in America were happening. And it's showing that President Trump was safely tucked up in bed asleep, all the lights off, when these riots were taking place. Well, actually, this photo wasn't taken a week ago. It was taken three years ago. And it's been changed so the lights have been put out. It's fake news. Or what about this picture? This picture, again, meant to happen during the riots in America happening recently. It's a picture of police attacking their car and joining in with the riots and looters. Well, that's how the story went. What's actually going on is the police arrived to find their car being damaged and they're tearing off part of the windshield, part of the windscreen, so they can actually drive the car away. Or what about this? It looks quite clear cut. We've got a policeman who is stealing lots of trainers. He's loading off his car and he's driving off with them. Again, that's how the story went. What's actually happened is he's just sold the burglary and he's putting these trainers into the boot of the shop owner's car to return them to where they belong. Fake news. And finally this one. It's a picture of uh, a black man begging with looters not to burn down his shop. He's saying, this is not the cause, please don't do it. Again, supposedly taken a week or so ago in the riots in America. It's actually taken in 1992. Fake news. There are lots of things that people put up as fake news. Some of them are trying to make a really valuable point and just doing it in the wrong way. Others are just trying to score political points. But what happens to something really important? How can we decide whether that is real or fake? You see, the Bible tells us how to have life. So it's important whether we know whether this is real or fake. And there's a guy called Luke who thought exactly the same thing. You see, Luke was a doctor. And Luke cared about investigating things and finding out what was real and what was fake. I'm going to read you the first four verses from the book of Luke. Here is what it says. Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. With this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decide to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, that you might know the certainty of the things you have been taught. You see, Luke knew how to find out whether something was real or fake. He knew that actually he had to go and talk to eyewitnesses, to people who'd been there, to people who'd seen what happened. He knew he had to read accounts and reports from not just one person, but from a variety of people to see if they sort of match up. Now, if they match up perfectly, then you might be suspicious, but to see if they match up and they talk about the same thing, maybe slightly different ways. To find out what was actually going on, to investigate thoroughly. Now, when we do that with those photos, we see that they're fake news. When Luke did it with the good news of Jesus, he saw that it was real and he saw that it was true. You see, he wrote to Theophilus saying, I want you to be certain of the facts. I want you to know what it is that's being taught. And so here it is for you. I've put together an orderly account, an account that you can follow through, an account that is trustworthy because it's from the original eyewitnesses people who were there, people who saw it. It's trustworthy because it's come from lots of different accounts. And I'm writing it to you. Well, Luke wrote it down for Theophilus, but we still have it today. We have this account of the good news of Jesus. We have this account of who Jesus is and what Jesus did and why that is so amazing and what difference it makes to us. 
And that's what you're going to be looking at over the next few weeks. It's going to be an amazing journey. I hope you'll join with me as we go through it. But we can be certain of what we read because Luke has done the work for us. Luke has done the work to find out what was real and what was fake. And he's written the real things down for us in God's Bible. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you that Luke went to the effort to find out what happened. Thank you that you inspired him to do that. Thank you that he wrote this account for Theophilus. Thank you that we have this account today so we can see who Jesus is and how amazing that is. And we pray you help us to base our thoughts on Jesus, on what is real and not what is fake. And we'll see how amazing Jesus is in the weeks ahead. Amen. Well, thank you very much for joining me this evening. I look forward to seeing you again next week as we continue our journey through this book 